Okay, guys, so welcome to another um, AutoCAD tutorial with me, Sage you know. And today, what we are doing is we're basically going to create a project or set up a project, however, you understand it. It's very simple. I, I made the whole video earlier, and it's like my microphone was not recording, so I have to redo the video. I don't want to do voiceovers. So basically we are, we are going to create um, a two bedroom apartment it's simple to do and everybody can get it just relax and stay here with me but first if you have not subscribed to the channel if you are new here do subscribe to the channel as this channel is about creating or doing projects on autocad we'll be putting out videos each and every week so if you have not subscribed to the channel if you are new here do subscribe <coughs> Hit the bell notification for future updates. When the videos come out, you get notified and like the video. Let's push it to people who are not, you know, getting the channel or are not getting access to the channel or who have not seen the channel as of yet. You like the video and it pushes it to them. Leave out a comment. Whatever you do not understand or you may not understand in the video, leave out a comment. Let's get going. Okay, so up here we have two buttons here this is our project browser as it states and this is our project navigator that's what you're going to use but first you're going to open your project browser you open the project browser if you are new to um if you are new to autocad and let's say you do not have the autocad architecture i'm going to leave a link down in the description where you can download it yeah I'm going to leave a link down there so you can download it and if you have any problem regarding that just message me on my instagram or tiktok or whatever however you you feel comfortable i'm going to leave links to my social media accounts down in the description you can check them out so let's go so you come you open the project browser then you click on this this button down here it says new project you are going to create a new project and the project name i'm going to give you 001 yes and project name let's see two um two bedroom apartment two bedroom apartment yes then you go to description let's see a two bedroom apartment for teaching that, that depends on you you are creating the thing so you are in charge of what you want to do as of how you want then you check this if it's if it's checked uncheck it if they create um from template project if it is checked uncheck it then click on okay yes so here is the project. It is down here. Yes, we are going to relocate it. We are going to relocate this. So but as of now, just leave it there and then close it. It is set, so you close it. Then we open the project navigator. It comes automatically. This is your project navigator. If it does not come, click on this button up here. So here's my project navigator and we have to do one or two things up here. So we are going to edit, edit the current projects. This is the project properties. We're going to edit some of some things here. So we are going to start off by turning these to yes. Match sheet, just turn them, yes, yes. And we are going to template, we are going to set a, um, a template for our model yes so you click on it this is going to pop up what you want to select is aec model imperial ctb if you are using metric if you are using metric autocad we have imperial and metric and the difference is basically metric is like the meters millimeters and stuff and the imperial is the inches and feet so if you are using metric you use metric if you are using um feet you select imperial ctb model make sure it's model we have model and we have sheet model ctb imperial open then we go to the sheet template 
you select your sheet template you come to the three dots up here then we select aec sheet imperial ctb aec sheet imperial ctb you click on open then we set a size this is the the size of the sheets i'm going to use let me see 24 by 36 ah, it's going to be a bit bigger yeah if it's a smaller project you can just check it out if you're if it's a bigger project down okay then apply changes to all nested sub subsets yes later on we are going to get into the detail information we are going to get into it as we'll be using it to um to bring some custom details to our um our template our sheet template we are going to get into this later on you can you can later on i'm going to put out a video for that so you can check it out and do it at the start of your project or you wait till when you are about to print out your sheets or about to print out the project then you do them as of now i'm not going to do it as of now so with this done you go to you select you click on ok then you always read the prompt you get it says the path option has been changed do you want to convert the existing external reference to use relative paths yes i want to do that then okay so it's going to that's all so with that done we are going to get our screen set up you go back to your project navigator you go to levels we are going to edit our levels the levels of our buildings yes so we are going to start with the names we are going to start with we have a foundation yes so foundation oh. Double click foundation, enter. We want our ID to be capital S, then description foundation. <coughs> then we want to start our elevations. So, the floor elevation we are going to use um, negative three feet. So, negative three feet. In Ghana here, most we use three feet. It can be four, it can be five, depending on the project and where the project is. If it's in a waterlogged area, you want to raise the foundation so you can give it um, five feet or anything. But with this, I'm going to use just three feet. Yes. Then floor to floor heights, you're going to use positive three feet. So three feet. Just like that. Just three feet yes so with that we are okay so auto adjust auto adjust elevations make sure it is checked then you come here for new level you create a new level we're going to name it ground floor that's our ground floor ground floor enter id you're going to give it an id of gf yes then description ground floor and then with our elevations you see we had um three feet going down that is going to be down in the earth that's how foundations are in the earth a bit is going to sh show up but we want it to be three feet down then our ground floor is going to start from ground zero to ten feet high that one depends some people my father for instance he wants his buildings to be like 12 feet or 14 feet high that one it depends on the project you're doing and you the architect you are the one doing the work so you decide what you want so we have um 10 feet here all set you can add some if you have a top floor you you just you leave the auto adjust on you click on 
new, you set the name. It's going to start from 10 feet. So it's going to be on top of our ground floor, which is going to start from 0 to 10 feet. Then that one is going to start from 10 feet to an extra 10 feet. Just like that. But I'm not going to, you know, use it. So you're going to, you know, just delete it out. Just to delete anything out. Select OK. Then you have made changes to the project that may affect the existing views. Do you want to? Do you wish to regenerate all views in the project? I say yes. Then our levels are set here. Yes. Then we go to our divisions. So with the divisions, it's basically like what the project are doing. Let's say you have extra projects in addition to the main building you are you are creating the project for. Let's say you are creating a main building. You're going to have a garage outside. You're going to have a store outside. You're going to have an extra house or extra building in the same plan. Here is where you divide them. Yes. So with this, I'm not going to create that. So I'm just going to do the building. Building. Enter. I give it an ID of um capital B. Then description, main building, main building, that's all. If you're going to have the extra ones, you click on this and it adds divisions. So you, you click on it, it adds an extra one. You rename it to whatever you want, give it a title and an ID description and continue. So, okay, <clears throat> we have our division set. <clears throat> So with our levels and divisions set, then we go to our constructs. We are done with this part. We go to our constructs. So the construct, that's where we create our constructs, being the ground floor, the foundation, the top floor and everything, where we are going to actually do the work. And the elements are going to be extra stuff like um, grid lines and other things you are going to need in the building of or in the construction of the building or the plan yes so you go to construct right click go to new new construct then we name it as um we give it a name say foundation you're going to create the foundation you select foundation here so if you added if you added extra divisions they're also going to pop up so you create the foundation for the main building, then the foundation for the garage, the foundation for the store. So you, you just create them. You're going to create the buildings in separate drawing templates so that after we add everything together, you're going to get your whole building out. So this is how it is. So you just create it. I'm not going to open the drawing editor yet. The drawing editor is where we draw yes so check it out yes don't okay we come back to our constructs select new construct you're going to create um, a ground floor construct ground floor we select ground floor here still don't open it okay so we have our ground floor set and I'm going to create a grid line element. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm going to use. So in the element section, so grid lines, grid lines, then you select OK. So you have your grid line set, foundation and everything set. We're going to, you know, this what we are going to need in the start of a project. So watch the video. Try to understand everything. If you do not get anything, leave it in the comment section. I'm going to check everything out and then help you out. So if you do not understand anything, you can come down to my Instagram or any of my social medias down there. Or you can leave out a comment in the comment section. I do not get this. I do not understand this. I'm going to go deeper into it. So for now, that's all we are going to need to start our project. So with that done, the first thing we are going to be doing on this project is is going to draw our grid lines. So I'm, I opened my grid line drawing editor and this is what you get. So you open this. This is where you're going to do all the work. Yes. 
you're going to do all the work down here so it's very simple to use so with this i'd like to end this video and see you in the next one in the next video we are going to be doing more of the grid lines so stay tuned if you want to understand how grid lines work and if you do not know what a grid line is i'm going to leave it on the screen you check it and see that okay this is what it is and that's what i'm going to teach you how to do in a very very short video with that being said if you have not liked the video if you've not subscribed to the channel do that because you don't want to miss out on any future uploads hit the bell notification like the video leave out a comment what do you think about the the channel what do you think about the video what do you want me to add up so i'm dying to hear from you guys see you in the next video my name again is seed bye bye